Hi friends, welcome to another video of Big Tech Talk. In today's video, we will learn how to add a new column to a data frame using Apache Spark and Scala. So let's start the video. Apache Spark has a function called with column, which can be used to add one or more column to a data frame. With column function takes two arguments, that is column name and column value. First is the column name, which is of type string, and other is column value, which should be of type column. So let me go to my Eclipse ID and write some code to add a column to a data frame using Apache Spark and Scala. So this is my Eclipse ID. I have already created a project with the name as Learning Spark and com dot spark dot tutorial is my package name. Now I will create a Scala object. Right click on the package, go to new and click on others. Search for Scala object. Give a name to your Scala object. I will give the name as add column. So this is my Scala object. Let me create a main method. So I will write def main args, which is array of type string. Let me set the logger level as error so that I can remove info logs from the console. So I will write logger, which is of type Apache log 4j dot get logger and the class is org dot set level. I will set the level as error. Now I will create a Spark instance. So I will write well Spark equals Spark session dot builder dot app name. I will set the app name as add column and then dot master i will set the master as local since i am running spark on my local system and at the last get or create okay so my spark session object is created now let's read a json file which contains some mockup data so this is my json file this mockup data is in json format having columns as first name last name email and amount spent so to read this json file i will write val df equals spark which is a spark session object dot read dot format i will mention the format as json and then load in which i will mention the path of the input file so dot input which is my folder name and then the file name now i will print my input data by df.show now i will try to add a new column which is derived from the existing column let's say i will increase the amount spent by 20 if the amount is less than 50 and if the amount spent is greater than or equal to 50 then there will be no change in the amount spent so to implement this i will write println drive a new column from existing column well df2 equals df dot with column as you know with column takes two parameters so first is the column name which I will mention as increase underscore amount underscore spend and the value will be when okay if I want to use when then I need to import it from SQL functions so on the top I will write import org dot apache dot spark dot sql dot function dot when then over here in the bracket df 
the column name which is amount spent is less than 50 then df amount underscore spent plus 20 dot otherwise df and the column name which is amount underscore spent so this should add a new column with the name as increase underscore amount underscore spend. So let's print it by df2 dot show. Now let's save the code and execute it. Right click run as Scala application. Okay, it cannot resolve amount underscore spend 20. Okay. This is because of the wrong brackets. Let me fix it and run it. Right click, run as Scala application. Now, as you can see, this is our newly added column. And we can see an increase in 20 over here, whereas this value remains the same. Now, if I want to add a column with a constant value to a data frame, is it possible? The answer is yes, but we need to use lit function. Let me show it by writing some code. So I will write println adding a constant value. Val df3 equals df2 dot with column. I will mention the new column name as city and the value as Mumbai. Over here, it is throwing an error because it's a string and in with column function, the second parameter should be of type column. So to convert a value to a column, Spark has a function called lit. So to use lit, I need to import it. Over here, I will write comma lit. It means import when and lit from SQL functions. And over here, I will mention lit. Now, a new column should be added to our df3. So, let's print it by df3.show. Let's save the code and execute it. Right click, run as Scala application. As you can see, a new column with the name as city is added to the output. So friends, we are done with today's video. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section. Do hit the like button and subscribe for more such video. Thank you.